Hello everyone, how is it going? I hope you all are doing well. Let us begin today's session. Question number 5 of exercise 7.4. PR is greater than PQ. PS is bisector of angle QPR, which means PS bisect angle P. That means we will get two equal angles. We have to prove that angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. PSR is greater than PSQ. Let us start proving. Here we have in triangle PQR, PS bisects angle QPR which is given. So when it is bisecting this angle P, we will have two equal angles which will be there and they will be equal. Angle QPS and that will be equal to angle RPS. And this will write as equation 1. In the question, it is given that PR is greater than PQ. This is given. Now, we'll make use of theorem 7.6, which says that the angle opposite to the longest side is larger. Here we have PR side as longest side. So the angle opposite to PR will be greater than the angle opposite to PQ. So we have this side PR. Opposite to it we have angle Q. So we'll write angle PQS. And this is side PQ. Opposite to PQ we have angle R. So we will write it as angle PRS. Why will we write it as angle PQS and PRS? Because in between we have bisector PS. That is why. So we will write angle PQS is greater than angle PRS. And this will write as equation number 2. Now look at equation number 1 and 2. We have angle QPS is equal to angle RPS. Here we have angle PQS greater than angle PRS. What if we add this angles in equation number 2? So for angle PQS we will add angle QPS. So, we'll write angle PQS plus angle QPS. Now, as I said, we will add these two angles here. So, this sign will be as it is greater than. Now, angle PRS plus here we will add angle RPS. Why can we not write here? QPS, let us see, as we are talking about angle PRS, we will write angle addition RPS. We cannot write angle QPS, okay, because it is on the left hand side of this PES bisector. So, it forms another triangle. So, we will use the angle which is in the same triangle. So, when we are writing angle PRS will write angle, we will add angle RPS and here we will write angle QPS is equal to angle RPS. Now on the left hand side of equation we got angle PQS which is this angle plus angle QPS, QPS that is this angle. Addition of these two angles will give us what? So for this we need to recall theorem 6.8 in chapter number 6 which says that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of integer opposite angles. So when we consider triangle PQS refer to this two triangle. We got addition of this two and these are interior angles 
So for this equal to we will get exterior angle and exterior angle will be this. Okay. Why is it so? Because this will be exterior angle. Okay. Which angle P S R. Angle P S R is an exterior angle for this triangle P Q S. And according to the theorem, an exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. So, if we consider angle P S R, opposite to it we have two angles P and Q. So, P plus Q will be equal to exterior of S. Okay, so we'll write exterior of angle P S R that is equal to what? Angle PQS plus angle QPS. This will refer as equation number 3. We will write the reason an exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. On the right hand side of equation, we have got angle PRS. This angle R, addition of angle R, P, S, which is this angle. Now refer to this triangle, triangle P, S, R. This are two angles, angle P and angle R. That will be equal to what? Again, we'll refer to theorem 6.8. An exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. P, S and R. These are three angles in which P and R, if we consider addition of this two, that will be equal to this angle. And this is what? Exterior of angle S. So, we can write angle P, S, Q is equal to angle R, P, S plus angle P, R, S. This exterior of S will be equal to addition of these two angles. So, we will write exterior angle PSQ is addition of what angle PRS and angle RPS. And this will refer as equation number 4. Now, refer to... This equation, equation number 3 and equation number 4. Instead of angle PQS plus QPS, we have got this addition. We got angle PSR. So, we will put values of equation number 3 and equation number 4 in this equation. Angle PQS plus QSP that is equal to which angle? We got it as angle P S R. So we'll write angle P S R. And in between, greater sign is there. Angle P R S plus angle R P S. Angle P R S plus angle R P S we got as exterior of angle P S Q. Exterior of angle S. That is exterior angle P S Q. What did we do? Value of equation 3 and 4, we kept in this equation. As a result, we got angle PSR is greater than angle PSQ. We were asked to prove it, which we have proved. Here, we have completed question number 5.